everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be talking you through my perfume recommendations for those hot summer nights. If it's your first time on my channel, then welcome. I create new videos weekly all about fragrances, beauty, sometimes fashion. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then don't forget to click the subscribe button below and activate the notification bell as well so you can be notified every time I post. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And with all of that out of the way, let's get started with these beautiful, flirty, summery fragrances. The first fragrance I have to share with you today is this beauty right here, Musk Noir Rose from Narciso Rodriguez. And I just feel like this is that perfect flirty feminine scent for an evening out in the summertime. You're maybe going out for a few drinks, a few cocktails. And this is just such a nice, lighthearted, sweet, um, flirty, bubbly type of scent for that kind of occasion. It just kind of lifts my mood whenever I smell this. You've got your sweetness in here coming from the sort of vanilla creamy tuberose accord. You've also got a brightness coming from the pink pepper and the bergamot. And of course you've got a bit of musk in here as well. And overall it's just a nice kind of dewy, creamy, um, sweet, uplifting scent, perfect for an evening out in the summertime. I would say this fragrance is kind of moderate when it comes to the staying power and the um, overall projection. I would give it maybe like a 6 out of 10, something like that. And it's just a nice likeable fragrance. Definitely the sweetest out of all of the Narciso fragrances in my opinion and probably the most sort of likeable, easy to like type of scent. It's just a perfect sweet feminine scent to wear of a summer evening and that one is a Musk Noir Rose from Narciso Rodriguez. The next one I've got for you today is this beauty here, Alien the EDT from Mugler. Now, um, don't underestimate the sort of power of this fragrance because even though it's an EDT, to me it performs just as well as many EDPs in my collection, if not better. It's still got that um, alien sort of essence to it, except it's got a little bit more emphasis on the citrusy notes, so it's got a brighter, sort of more... Mm, more easygoing, uplifting quality to it. It's not as deep and intoxicating and serious as the EDP version. So I just feel like this gorgeous jasmine -y fragrance with your citrusy nuances would be perfect for a summer evening out, um, having fun, whether that's going for dinner, going for drinks. I just think this would make a fantastic floral, um, bright fragrance. It's definitely the less intoxicating alien of the two. It's definitely the one I would recommend um, to wear in the height of summer over the EDP, just because it's not as intense. But again, like I say, it's by no means a weak fragrance. It's not like a watered down version. It's just different and it's more lighthearted and more easygoing. So that one is the beautiful Alien EDT from Mugler. The next fragrance I have in my collection that I would recommend to you for those summer nights out would be La Vie Rêve from Nino Amadio. And this fragrance is just so beautiful, you guys. It's actually quite unique as well. So your main accords kind of include citrusy nuances. You have Chantilly cream, you have marshmallow notes, you've got some kind of buttery, thick white florals going on in here as well. And there's almost something a tiny tiny little bit green or like medicinal or something there's just something in here giving it a bit of an edge to make it quite unique but it's very subtle it's just kind of hard to explain actually but this is a really nice one um it almost kind of reminds me of the likes of uh jean paul gaultier scandal by night except this one is not nearly as sickly and it's just more refined and Better, better blended and everything like that. But the mood of this, it's almost reminding me of maybe like the Scandal line. It's got that kind of playful nature to it. Very feminine, very flirty. It's got this um, sort of lighthearted mood about it that I would associate with the summertime. This one layers beautifully with Armani My Way. 
So they kind of enhance the white floral aspects of each other, they enhance the sort of bright citrusy natures um, of each other, and also I would say they balance each other out quite well. Um, La Vie Rêve smoothens out the bright aspects of Armani My Way and it just kind of adds a nice level of depth in there, it just kind of makes it a bit more interesting as well and I just feel like they blend very well together. So I'm mentioning this one but really you could throw in Armani My Way as like a layering combination as well for sure. Next up today we have this fragrance in my collection, Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper from Kayali. And this one was a complete blind buy of mine. It was my first Kayali purchase and I have to say I was just over the moon with it. It's quite easy to like in my opinion. It's got this sweet, bright, almost fizzy nature to it. It's with the pink pepper, you've got your sort of rose notes in here, you've got your vanilla, you've got your sandalwood, your woody notes. There's also some um, is it vanilla orchid and they've got like maybe magnolia in here as well. Overall it's quite a sweet, fizzy, woody, creamy fragrance. Very feminine, very celebratory, definitely mood lifting and I would say it's perfect for a summer evening out. It's just you can't help but smile when you smell this. It might be the pink pepper, it's just got something so bright and sparkly about it. It's just so nice. Mm and it develops beautifully on the skin as well. So I would say that piercing um, opening that this fragrance has, it definitely kind of softens up and it subsides the longer it's on your skin and it definitely becomes creamier, smoother, and it kind of just like mellows out the longer you have it on, if that makes sense. But anyway, this is a fantastic, sweet, uplifting, feminine, flirty, um, fragrance to wear of a summer night for sure and that's Kayali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. And last up today but by no means least, in fact this is one of my favourite fragrances you guys. We have um, Narciso Rodriguez for her the EDT. Now this is just such a versatile gorgeous sensual feminine scent that to be honest I feel like it's a perfect all year round fragrance but seriously I can imagine this being a beautiful fragrance of choice to wear on like a summer night out whether that be dinner or drinks or if you're going out to a party it's just so beautiful it melts really well with your own skin chemistry because of the sort of high dose of musk that they have in here it's quite bright as well with the bergamot you've got a little touch of vanilla in here you've got your sort of um is it orange blossom you've also got your kind of thick, slightly powdery osmanthus notes. It's quite heavy on the white florals, I would say, also very heavy on the musk. And there's this kind of naturally occurring like sweetness, like balsamic sweetness, a balminess to it as well that you get in this fragrance. It's just wonderful, you guys. Um, the only thing is the lid is a little bit tricky to get off sometimes. I just love this fragrance. It's been a repurchase for me, so I did used to own this um, years ago and then once I ran out I just had to I just had to repurchase another bottle because I couldn't really be without it. It was my first purchase from the Narciso Rodriguez house as well and it's kind of the fragrance that got me into their fragrances um, in the first place. So that's that one there. I will also say even though it's an EDT it's extremely strong, it performs like an EDP, it's, it's not only strong and long lasting but it projects incredibly well and people can definitely smell this one on you. So that is that one there a really beautiful sweet powdery bright and musky fragrance so there we have it everyone those are my recommendations for those summer nights out i really hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos let me know what you thought in the comments and i can't wait to see you again very soon bye